Public meetings are being held to share information and give an opportunity for input on the redevelopment of the Warm Springs campus area. Its potential as a downtown or town center has been talked about for many years, but recently the area is showing signs of change. The campus area has been part of daily life in Warm Springs for so many years. What would you like to see on campus in the future? What types of businesses? What kinds of community features? What should it look like? Who should it be designed for? How do you imagine yourself in a future campus area? It's time to make things happen. Redevelopment of the campus area in Warm Springs has been talked about, imagined, even planned at various times throughout the decades. Historically, the campus has kind of been the um, headquarters for the BIA probably since the turn of the century. My plans, the ones I look at, show development plans back in the 1930s and 40s when I've got stuff all the way up to the present. And in those plans, they were basically doing the things that we kind of do now. And that's just trying to figure out where to put stuff and try to do it in kind of an efficient way. The campus was the location of the boarding school on the reservation. Kids went to school, lived and played throughout the campus area. The red brick dorms that house students are home to several offices today. Remnants of some things remain from that era, while there is hardly a trace of others. Well, this is something I was looking at from 1940. You know, there were three tennis courts up on the campus, basically where the basketball court is on the campus green. That was a tennis court, and then the basketball court that's between the, the school and the education building was a tennis court. I guess that's why the, the high fence is there. And then the parking lot just south of the community counseling building was a tennis court. It's now a parking lot. That was interesting. And there were some buildings also located on uh, the green space that's on the west side of campus um, in that area. There had a couple of buildings on it pretty significant buildings. The campus has been home to many dwellings. Eventually, most of those were renovated as offices or converted into businesses. It's a high traffic area, so it's a good spot to put a sign out on the house and say you're open for business and have a lot of people see it. And this is why the campus area is still an ideal spot for growth, a place where the Warm Springs community can live, shop, make a living, and welcome visitors. But as you can see by the condemned buildings, but especially by what you cannot see, there is a lot of work to get done to make this a reality. The planning that's going on on the campus is really just redevelopment. You know, everything on the campus is old. You know, this stuff has a useful life and then it's done. You know, everything, you know, buildings, water, sewer lines, all that stuff doesn't last forever. So the trick is, though, how do you replace that stuff, make that land useful again? But the trouble is all the buildings that are abandoned and all the, the old utility lines that need to be replaced and that cost money. In the first phase of the redevelopment project, buildings have come down. There will be some more coming down and then the infrastructure work will begin. None of this seems too thrilling, but it's necessary. Ultimately, you know, we're trying to get the land in a place where we can do the more exciting projects like actually build business spaces for doing a, a laundromat, a car wash, you know, um, some kind of a hotel or whatever. Some These these are things that are kind of a little bit heavily dependent on water use, but you want to have a water system that can handle those kinds of businesses. And so you need to think about building a system that will serve those kinds of businesses and also just the regular businesses like we focused on the East Campus area, which has those streets with the high vehicle traffic and pedestrian traffic along Paiute Avenue and East Warm Springs Street. That was a priority. Now that's, that's pretty much cleared out, and that makes it available now to get to the next level. It's preparing the high traffic area for development. People in Warm Springs often leave to neighboring towns to do business and to buy necessities. Think about what you spend your money on off of the reservation. Retail services that people want to see here or have the opportunity to provide as business owners. There's different kinds of services that could be provided by people. I mean, who knows what could happen, but, you know, maybe there's our own local dental office or space for people to do things so you don't have to necessarily 
go to town if you don't want. Community member input and ideas for redevelopment projects are very important. The most recent plans do include some type of housing, something sorely needed on the reservation. Public safety buildings currently located on the campus have been discussed too. There's some other planning going on around the fire hall. You know, they they need a new fire hall. And so the question is trying to find a site for it and getting opinions about where a good site for the fire hall would be that would still give them good response times. The police, uh, you know, if you move the commissary out of the police area, that gives them more room to think about their space needs. We've always talked about doing this justice center Options on places to eat are exciting to think about. The campus area would offer convenience for locals and could bring business from travelers on Highway 26. But if we are going to do it, we want to do it right. There's a lot of people that want to do food carts, and we want to do that in a managed way, you know. Uh, We don't want everyone, single one, putting up their own electrical pole. We'd like to set things up in an organized way to where they don't even have to worry too much about setting things up for utilities and handling their wastewater and restrooms and that kind of thing. Uh, We'd like to set things up to where all they have to focus on is getting their food handlers permit and doing the food. Those are the kinds of things that are people want to do right now. And the, the community action team wants to use the old commissary building as a small business center. Their plan is to move the building to a location across the campus. Also part of their plans is to have a food cart development next to it. Presumably when they set that up, you know, there's electrical outlets there for people and there's a way to handle the gray water with the commissary, which is a business incubator. That's kind of what they're billing that as is one of the functions. And So these food carts would get other technical assistance, maybe bookkeeping or learning how to do inventories and finding suppliers and all that kind of stuff. The Warm Spring Safety Corridor Plan addresses improvements to Highway 26 that will, in a way, channelize the traffic and indicate that a community is ahead. Gas? Food? Lodging? Maybe. What businesses or services would you like to see on the campus? What kind of business are you interested in owning? Think about it. It can happen. Warm Springs Planning is currently seeking comments about campus redevelopment. As potential locations for business sites are readied, there's an interest in making sure the planning is purposeful and will meet our community's needs. So what do you think? Please post your comments after watching this video or submit your comments in writing to the Warm Springs Planning Department at the Tribal Administration Building.